I think there are two great benefits of taking time to reflect. Number one, it's great for your mental health. It kind of forces you to be present. In the process of moving forward, it's easy to become anxious. It's easy to become worried, right? If I'm trying to move forward, then anxiety is probably going to come up at some time or another, right? Because anxiety is this kind of worry about this about the future, this, this tense feeling about the future. So sometimes by meditating and putting myself in the present, by just thinking, by reflecting, I'm more comfortable with my mental health. I feel more comfortable in the moment. So that is one of the reasons that I think you should reflect. The second reason that reflecting is so important is because you can actually think about what it is you're not doing that well or what it is you could be doing better and then changing that. Sometimes we become so focused on the process of moving forward that that we don't realize I'm not really going about this the right way. There are things that I could be doing a whole lot better. And by forcing yourself to slow down, forcing yourself to step back from the situation, you're able to recognize those errors, those shortcomings, the, the things that you could be doing better so just spending a little bit of time doing that will help you to move faster, will help you to be more effective in moving towards your end goal. There are a million different ways that you can go about this process of reflecting. And by no means am I a master, but this is what I do. Normally in the morning, I try to read a few pages of my Bible. And then after that, I spend some time writing. I put my thoughts out on the paper. And I write about a whole bunch of different things. Really, it's whatever comes to my mind. So I might write about what I read last night. I try to reflect on the information I learned. I go back to what I underlined, what I started, and I try to think about that the next day. Try to incorporate those important insights into the, into the long-term memory, into my brain. I might also write about the things I did yesterday, the things I did for this page, what I could have done better, what I can do going forward. And sometimes I just write my random thoughts. Maybe it's something that I might want to talk about in the podcast. I've kind of got a bunch of ideas. I've got this little brainstorm going on and I think, wow, this is a really good idea, but I have no idea how I would present that idea to somebody else. So I just start writing, writing that down. And when I do that, it helps me to gather my thoughts helps me to become more clear. And then when I do that, I better understand what I want to say while doing this show. And then finally, with with this, with actually writing down things each morning, I try to write down three things I am thankful for. And again, that kind of forces me to be present and shows me how blessed I really am. It shows me that even if I want to keep moving forward, the present's pretty good. I've got a lot of good things going on in my life, and that helps me to, that helps my mental health overall.